Welcome to another episode of Saturday Selections with Pumping Paddo. Well, I tell you what, Darby Day this Saturday. I can't believe it. I am so excited. It is going to be cracking jack. Unfortunately, I'm working again, but I tell you what, when I get home, I'll be watching the replays. I'm bound about that. I tell you what, I'm fired up. First off this week, we're going to kick us off with the winner in race five, number 12, Rekindled Interest. Oh gee, I tell you what, if he weren't for that bumping jaw on the turn, he would have gone close to winning the Cox Plate. I'm sure many people agree with me. He was unlucky. He was unlucky. Look, I'm sticking with him this week. He's drawn perfectly. He's absolutely flying. No hidden agenda here. He will be hard to beat. He will be very hard to beat. This week, Paddo's Puffer is in race nine, number six, Lago Lad. This bloke was gay at his first start. Uh, his first start back after 12 months last start. He finished just four lengths behind Temple of Boom at this track over 1,200 metres. Look, I reckon this is his favourite track. 1,400 metres would have to be his best distance. Look, Stephen Arnold on board. $17 available. I reckon he's a good beast. And I reckon he's a good bet. And now it's time for someone who I know will be extremely fired up for this day. Keith! He's a good bloke, he's a Queensland, and his name is Keith. Oh, yes! Yeah. Okay, Pat, I will fight up for the four days at Flemington. Gonna go out with a bang on the show, aren't we? And the first day, Derby Day, look, I'm going to start in the um, Dalgetty, I think it's called the Lexus now, a horse by the name of Green Moon, look, I like this in the Caulfield Cup, three wide, the trip run second, huge run, hard to beat. Caulfield Cup form stacking up well, you get a line through Tanby, Tanby um, got beaten by Shawan in the Herbert Power, and Tanby since came out and ran uh, second to um, the Geelong Cup winner, Juna Den. After that, Shawan came out and ran in the um, Mooney Valley Cup and Tullamore beat at home and Tullamore ran third in the Caulfield Cup to Green Moon. So as it stands, Green Moon form looks pretty good to me at the staying distance. Good alley, 56 on its back from Nick Hall here. Expect it to be very hard to beat. Uh, later in the day, I've had a little speck on the derby on costly commitment from Mick Price and Craig Newitt here. I like the way this hit the line and the Norman Robinson after getting a chequered passage at the top of the straight on the turn for home. Blind Costa to Largo and uh, you know getting to about six rounds preparation now this should be fit and I, I think this horse can stay where there'll be a question mark about a few of them staying the trip alright boys enjoy Derby Day I look forward to talking to you for the Melbourne Cup alright oh, <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah yep I reckon Oh, I might put a bit, I might put a bit on the green moon myself, I reckon. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, it's going to be a good day, isn't it, Keith? Hope you're back a few winners on the weekend, mate. <laughs> I tell you what, someone else will be just as fired up. Oh, yeah. Get there. It's time to get this segment on the Ponzi Pazzo Show. It's time for Cassie's Take Man on the Ponzi Show. Look, folks, how are we this week? Well, what a Cox Plate we had last week, and uh, Spring Carnival's really hotting up now. Derby Day this week, and Cup Week following. Uh, I'm excited, I don't know about you. Listen, uh, sticking with the Galar race one at Flemington. Look, uh, tip him last time, he got the Vickies. Great ride, great result, knocked off Masthead. Uh, Really impressed with the way he hit the line and he uh, he done everything right, knuckled down. He's no bludge of this bloke and look, uh, I think he'll eat up the mile and he should have this lot covered. Uh, half the field would ran behind him uh, last start and I don't see him improving on beating him, that's for sure. Uh, not real sure what sort of price he'll get, but uh, yeah, I'll be following him, that's for sure. He's definitely one to follow, stick with him. 
Uh, got a few shorties going around on the day, which doesn't really make for much betting interest. Atlantic Jewel, she's an absolute superstar, but uh, you won't be punting on her, that's for sure. Sapoy, well, he's an absolute, even bigger superstar for mine, and you won't be betting on him. Uh, Matty Manili as well, look, he looks to have the derby at his uh, back, but I don't, I, 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 he's no certainty, that's for sure. I just can't be taken with 230, 240, they're throwing out about him. Uh, look, love the Meyer Classic, what a race that's been, and one of my favourite mares, well, cleaned up a couple of years ago, Forensics. Uh, nothing really of that sort of quality in the race this year. Look, more joyous and absolute. She, she's, she's a mighty mare, don't worry about that, but... Uh, Look, I'm gonna. I thought it might have been her race, but I don't know for whatever reason. I'm just going in my head. She's not gonna win. Um, I found something that should what should be a little bit of value in a bit of good form as well, and that's response. I'm gonna throw that into the mix. Been running out of its skin this preparation. Close up behind more joyous, and close up behind uh, what's the other one? Temple of Bone. Uh, look, pretty good runs. Should be a good prize. In form. Got the gun. Gun the informed jock on board. No offence to Craig Williams, who's in cracking form himself, but uh, if you haven't got Craig Williams on, you want D done on, and he is the man. And yeah, look, each way should be a bit of value, and uh, good luck if you find the winner. It looks a tough race for more. Friday night at Mooney Valley, I've got me little sprint and superstar waltzes going around. Uh, forget the first up run, he missed the kick, he's playing up in the barriers, and that happens. Uh, not real sure what the jockey scenario is. Uh, Dwayne Dunn's been booked on an emergency. He's drawn wide. Uh, fingers crossed that they don't run and we get Dummy. We love Dummy and he's in good form. He knows the horse and they're a great combination of 955 metres at Mooney Valley. Uh, just quickly before I, before I finish off, just want to say sad, uh, sad news of the passing of a good friend of mine, Adrian Lechmere former jumps jockey, absolute champion bloke, uh, another one in the racing industry that's fallen off the perch and that's horrible. Um, look, I'm shattered and my thoughts go out to his uh, other friends and family, that's for sure. Well, good luck this week, guys, and we'll see you back for Cup Day, eh? Cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I tell you what, gas is on fire, gas is on fire. I... I tell you what, so lucky to have Keith and Gassy on this show. They are two good blokes and they love their racing, they love tipping winners. I tell you what, I've got a feeling this weekend is going to be cracking, Jack. I hope you have a great weekend and happy punting! <laughs>